Malcolm seventh grade. Today, and Jim, I told you we're going to talk about something you're passionate about. You're fine, don't worry. Okay? And that is true. Today we're talking about your dreams, your wishes, your goals. And if you don't have a goal that you're passionate about, it's not really a goal. And specifically, we're going to tease out some of the strategies to achieve and get you that thing that you're passionate about, get you that goal. All right? So, underlining, you can see the shirt up there, underlining the strategies, we're going to tease it out, but it's, it's grit, okay? What is grit? That's going to be part of the thing for today. What is grit? Let me define that with the word I just made up. Your stick to itness. Stick to itness, I'll define that as grit. Grit is the opposite of talent. All right, if you have a goal, let's say, your goal is to do really well with spelling, quit and you're really good speller, your talent is pretty much going to carry you to that goal. But if you go to say the international spelling bee, at a certain point, that talent is going to take you so far. So what happens next? It's grit or quit. Your talent will be here, and you either your stick to it, it's your passion, your perseverance over an extended amount of time, that grit muscle hits in and helps you achieve that goal. Just like any muscle, you can, you can build it up, you can get weak at times. It's not a static thing, it's not, again, it's the opposite of talent. We're kind of born with a certain amount of talent. We're born with a certain amount of grit, but we can increase that grit, we can increase that grit muscle. Speaking of muscle, Chris Major, he's kind of our grit expert. He works with kids every day, teaching them how to flex, and build their grit muscles in seventh grade. Welcome, Chris Major. Thank you. So, how's everybody feeling this afternoon?
Now what I want to help you to think about is short-term goals. So when we think about goals, a lot of times we think, you know, the long term. And that's what grit is about. Grit is about passion and perseverance over the long term. But before we make it to the long term, we've got to get through the short term. And sometimes goals might be in the next 24 hours. It might be just in this moment, just before the end of this class. My goal is this. So what I want you to think about when we think about goals is you've got long-term goals and you've got short-term goals. The same strategies you use in short-term goals, you're going to use in your long-term goals. So we're going to talk some about those strategies. Now, I want to ask you guys to flip over and make sure that you have the smart side of your shoe out. So, how many of you have seen SMART before? How many of you have seen this acronym? Okay, so we've had a couple of people who are in the Front Fitness program. Shout out. Some of you have already seen SMART goals. So, when we look at this sheet, we want to make sure that when we set a goal, it's SMART. And what that means is an acronym. It stands for specific. Can anybody help me out? What's the M stand for? Measurable. What about the A? Attainable. And what about the R? Reaching. Means you're trying to go beyond where you've gone before. You're stepping outside your comfort zone. And what about the T? Timely. 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 You've got to have some sort of time frame. And that's what we just talked about when we said you have short-term goals and long-term goals. Now, we just did a little spelling exercise. We just did a little spelling there. And we're going to do two parts. So we just did the SMART goal. So setting a goal is very important. And your goal needs to be SMART. SMART. How about you try it one more time? And your goal needs to be SMART. SMART. Your goal needs to be SMART. And then, so you set a goal. You've got a goal. Okay. Now what? You need a plan. You need a plan to make that wish a reality. So I've got a special guest who's going to help demonstrate the WHOOP plan. So the whole acronym is, is, is what? S-W-O-O-P. Does anybody know what that spells?
possible that stands between his wish and where he is today. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Cool. So, the obstacle is that not everybody knows about smart goals. Not everybody knows about group plans. So, that's a barrier. That's a barrier to you guys reaching your goals. So, so the next part of the process is what? What do we do? What's, can anybody tell me the P and who? Right back there. Plan. Planning. So we've got to think up a plan that helps us go and overcome that obstacle. So if you look on your sheet, do you see something that says, if, then? No. No?
to commemorate your learning that we had here with some selfies, with a massive group photo, and an opportunity to meet Swoop. Would you guys like that? Thank you.